Does SEO work for small business? That is a big, big question, right? And I'll tell you, lots of folks unfortunately believe some old and moldy myths about SEO getting found online through search engines and how all this stuff works. So here, let's not only discover the true answer to the question, does SEO work for small business, but let's also debunk three of the biggest, nastiest, stankiest, hairiest, juiciest myths about SEO search engine optimization. I hope that sounds like a plan. Let's jump into it. Let's go. If this is your first time here, I'm Jeff from 10tononline.com. Here it's all about escaping the grind, building a fulfilling online business and launching a better tomorrow. Now, before we really get rolling, it is important that you've got to put the right plan into action for yourself and for your ideas and for your business. So to help you along, I put together for you an online business jumpstart guide. This is a completely free, downloadable, printable PDF guide that gives you a solid foundation and blueprint for your business endeavors. Your free guide shows you how to uncover the right ideas to maximize your new business success. It is packed with powerful action steps that you can take right away and it is intentionally loaded up with valuable tools and resources for you. So go and grab your free guide right now while it's still available over at 10tononline.com forward slash jump. You don't want to miss it. Next though, we've got to answer the question, does SEO work for small business? Well, let's dig into this by starting to dismantle some of these nasty, stanky, gnarly myths. Here's the first one. The first SEO myth that we're going to debunk says that SEO is old fashioned, that it's outdated, that it no longer works. Well, really, this is a big misconception that keeps coming up again and again, especially for small business owners. Maybe you believe this yourself, which is why you're here. Maybe like other folks, you're thinking that at this point, the web is perhaps so oversaturated, jammed up with so much content that there's so much stuff out there that for all intents and purposes, SEO is dead. Like, you know, maybe five years ago or 10 years ago or something, SEO was a solid strategy, but now many, many people think that SEO is totally outdated. Well, guess what, my friend? People were saying the exact same thing about SEO five or 10 years ago. And while it's easy to understand why folks who are new to online business and online marketing would believe that SEO is long dead and gone. The truth is SEO is very much alive and well. What's more, it ain't going anywhere anytime soon. I mean, after all, search, internet search, whether it's through Google or YouTube or Bing or some other search platform, that's not going away. Think about it this way. Search is the primary way that you and I and everybody else online finds the things that we want online. And on the issue of oversaturation on the web, content oversaturation, the name of the game here is something called long tail keyword phrases. Next though, here's our second big nasty hairy SEO myth that needs to die. As a matter of fact, this is an SEO myth that I used to believe myself. Here's what this common SEO misbelief says. SEO is technical and complex and difficult to learn. In other words, this myth says that SEO is just too difficult. It's just too techy, just too much for us mere mortals to learn for ourselves. So for most regular, normal people like you and I, SEO is just too complex. In fact, a lot of people believe that SEO is so complex, so complicated that they need to hire an expensive SEO expert or consultant to do it all for them. Well, guess what? That's totally false. In fact, SEO boils down to just a handful, like honestly, four or five basic concepts that anyone and I mean, anyone can learn. Beyond that, all you gotta do is follow a set of simple guidelines for your website, for your articles, and for your product pages. In other words, it's totally straightforward stuff, but of course the expensive overpriced SEO gurus want folks like you and I to think that what they do is like voodoo black magic or something. Something that is far too complex, far too technical, and even mystical for regular folks like you and I to understand. My suggestion to you, especially as you're starting out, is to not hire an SEO expert. Instead, learn how to do it all for yourself. I am telling you, it's not that hard. 
In fact, it is way, way easier than you think, even if you are a non-technical person. I'd love to show you how straightforward it is. In fact, even though we've got one more big, nasty, hairy myth that we have to debunk here in terms of using SEO for your business and marketing efforts. But first, if you're really serious about bringing in, attracting eyeballs into your website and into your product offers, then here's what to do. Head over to 10tononline.com forward slash traffic. Now there you will find an audience attraction bootcamp. This is a completely free self-paced online workshop where you'll get the strategies for driving floods of traffic to your website and learn about the best tools to use. You'll discover the different types of website traffic that you can attract and which one is the absolute best for your website and for your business. You'll also see why most online promotion methods simply don't work. And instead, what you'll get is a proven model to drive near unlimited amounts of visitors into your website and into your product pages and into your offers. Bring a notepad, my friend. You'll want to take detailed notes as we go. You don't want to miss it. Next, though, here's our third and final greasy, nasty, hairy, needs a bath and non-scented bleach SEO myth that so many fine folks believe. Many, many people believe that in order to get started with SEO, to use SEO to begin attracting eyeballs into their website and into their product pages and offers, as we say here, that they need to use expensive SEO tools. Here, I'm talking about things like keyword research tools, analytics tools, website console services, and so on. Well, man, let me tell you, the truth is that while there is just one really great but totally optional paid SEO tool that I use and that I recommend that really isn't all that expensive at all, for most of your SEO work and research, you can in fact use completely free tools and strategies. Now, with all this in mind, you can certainly learn SEO for yourself, as a matter of fact, Learning SEO for yourself would be a very powerful and valuable skill for you to have. And again, despite what you might think, it's not all that hard at all. So does SEO work for small business? Yes, absolutely. So next, let's put the right plan into action for you in your audience attraction bootcamp over at 10tononline.com forward slash traffic. I'll see you over there next.